Hi, I'm Clint, the director of the Scaffold Farmer. This is a scene where I just recreated a while back, and this is a scene that gets to showcase what it is to become a vegetarian, what it is to heal yourself using herbs. And the first part of the scene is I took out the knife, which basically could possibly kill you, and I placed, put it slowly into the safe side. As I take all this food that I've cut, uh, I show that I was so voracious of eating greens, which is kale leaves, which is known to be the most complete green, uh, leafy vegetable. It has the most complete nutrients, which basically helps people who are suffering from cancer. A, a, known, a known product of our farm that grows on its own are ampalaya and some strawberries, but it's already eat during the process of me making this shot. We have some strawberries and tomato, all organic, all grown, not exactly organic, sorry for that word, all grown naturally at our scaffold farm. I use the yellow because it will connect at the last part of the film, the yellow color, and I, I dim the light at the back to reduce the unnecessary background. And you will notice that I place a mirror here to simply replicate that this, that this uh, story is actually a multiplication of other people's lives. So that's the reason I put a mirror. During the course of my shooting, the mirror slide and it dropped the coffee, uh, coffee press. But I place it because I would like to show the break of your routine. That's the reason that I came, I thought of maybe the, the, the silent spirit, the duende in me broke this coffee press for me to show that I have to break my routine that's the reason I've showed that it's diagonal and there's a broken glass and I move the herbs from here to here basically these herbs is rosemary and stevia the artificial sugar and the flower <laughs> of a pet chai <laughs> so I place it to add color to color and texture to the shot and with me is our sponsor the BSU Apiary, the Coderera Apiary, Apiary Club and I, I, I place also some hot water here on a teapot and the reason I place this book is because I would like to reinforce the idea that it is that uh, I've been reading books on organic uh, preparation of culinary, organic culinary and I also place the title of the book Herbs which will be connected on the first part of the storyline so all the symbols that were used here were all symbolic so the reason that I use my watch is because I would like to show that it takes time to heal it takes time to heal and sometimes the reason I'm eating it voraciously is because this is a typical mindset of a person who, wants, who works in a toxic environment where they rush they don't even have the time to digest their food that's the reason that in my scene I ate this green leafy vegetable voraciously and at first I showed some hesitation to eat it but eventually because of the tea that comes with it so it helped me find the, the desirable taste that a typical cancer patient or typical person with ailment is having a hard time to take into their body in this scene I expressly show that I was playing music on my earphone so the reason that I, I, this thing came out into the scene is because I would like to show the modern times of how typical farmer enjoy their life and that is playing music in the case of my healing uh, there's this what we call the 532 frequency where you get to play music of healing under the frequency of 532 this is the reason why I chose a very specific song and ask some performers to come out with the version of it in 532 hertz which is actually the healing frequency so I hope I'm able to expound on the idea of why this is so important in this scene so this is Clint the director of the scaffold farmer welcome to the everyday talk and this is real this is real life and as I eat as I digest these things I took some footage and clips 
quite a lot of clips because I have to keep up with the timetable that I have to be able to finish this. So, thank you for subscribing, thank you for following. This is the director's vlog of the scaffold farmer. So, see you. Take two.